Hey there, everyone. Hank Preston with Learning and Certifications here, and I'm fresh off Cisco Live 2024 in Vegas last week. As always, the event was fantastic. And this year, the topic everywhere was artificial intelligence, specifically Gen AI. This is the kind of AI that's been all abuzz lately with technologies like ChatGPT, BARD, and Gemini. Gen AI is able to generate content that sounds like natural language because it's processed and been trained on vast amounts of publicly available data on the internet. AI, and even Gen AI, isn't exactly new, but the power and possibilities are so vast that it really is everywhere. And so while I was getting ready for my own presentations at Cisco Live, I figured it was past time for me to start dipping my toe into the AI pool and start to see how network engineers like you and I should be thinking about and using it. In fact, after eight years of discussing how to be a network engineer in a programmable age, I delivered how to be a network engineer in an artificial age in the Cisco U Theater last week. You can find a link for that talk in the details below. But today, no, today I want to share one of the most interesting AI use cases that I found in my preparation, using AI as a peer reviewer. You see, this idea started when I was considering examples for another talk, where I look at how programmability can be used even without any coding. I demonstrate how you can use formulas within spreadsheets to build network configurations from, from what is often still the raw data we have about our network. Spreadsheets, all sorts of information about sites, addresses, and so on. Specifically in this example, I look at how I can use spreadsheets to create IP set configurations for routers. I later demonstrate how Ansible can do the same thing by using CSV files and Jinja2 templates. So I thought, hey, can AI do this same thing? Within Cisco, we have a private chat GPT implementation called Bridge IT, or often just shortened to Bridget. And so I fired up my WebEx client and I sent her this very straightforward request. After about a minute, she replied back and gave me this answer. Looking it over, I was really quite impressed. She specifically understood the request and generated the content I asked for. Great job, Bridget, well done. But she wasn't done. Her response continued like this, and she pointed out a typo in my template. My first reaction was inconceivable. I couldn't have a typo. And then I sheepishly went back and I checked and sure enough, I, I did have a typo. I then checked and looked at the configuration she had sent me for the results, right? And she had fixed my typo before sending me the configs, right? That was pretty good. Even Ansible won't do that for you. But she still wasn't quite done. She continued with this response here. She pointed out that if I were to apply these configurations onto a single device, there would be a problem, right? She didn't know these configurations were intended for different routers, one for each of the sites. Well, if I were to have actually applied all of that, that would cause configuration issues. So she provided a very reasonable recommendation on how to change my approach. Now this part, this part was quite impressive. Generating the network configurations from the data and the template, well, I've seen lots of examples of AI doing similar types of use cases. So that was pretty straightforward. Even finding that typo really wasn't that big of a, uh, a surprise. I mean. There are probably hundreds or thousands of examples of IP set configurations out on the internet and what was used in our training data. But here, right, understanding what I was going after, making a reasonable network understanding about what was in place. Now, that part showed a level of understanding that I really wasn't expected and found really impressive. So where does that leave us? Where does that leave you and I, right? Well, I'm not quite ready to hand over the keys to AI to build and apply network configurations in my network. And I still recommend everybody do a thorough check on any generated configurations before applying them to your own network. Think of it the same way as data you find off of a forum or Stack Overflow or some code from GitHub. Right, we gotta check it, trust but verify. But here, using AI to proofread configurations that you put together for your own network, Right, similar to what you might do with a fellow network engineer on the team or a partner or Cisco TAC, well, that's a use case definitely worth considering checking out. Well, that's all for now. Right? I'm really looking forward to exploring AI more and seeing how it can fit into network engineers' daily routines. 
Not to mention all of the exciting AI features coming into platforms like Cisco's AI Assistant in our security platforms and here in WebEx. Now, if you're interested in AI, please check out the recently announced updates to the CCNA, CCIE Data Center, and the new AI module to the CCDE Lab Exam. Not to mention a whole bunch of new AI tutorials up on Cisco U. Well, until next time, may your packets hop and your frames never loop. Later.